me, Nancy Awesome. I'm here, and welcome back with episode 10 of Opsomtopia Survival, Minecraft Survival. Um, in this episode, I've accidentally started a raid because I was looking around. Because we're in Minecraft 1.19, hooray! Except I, yeah, I, I've accidentally started a, a raid. I ring this bell. Aha! That's such a useful feature. All right, all right, you guys, the villagers, you're gonna regret ever coming here <laughs> yes it's 1.19 but we still have our mods at least most of them there's only a couple like performance mods which weren't updated to 1.19 which is why if the game is a tiny bit more laggy then well that is the reason i didn't really think about it when kind of working on this village but i mean this village being on the top or like kind of in a mountain works really well for the village <laughs> protecting it against raids because the villagers can barely do anything. Oh, you didn't even rank though. You just disappeared from existence. Hi guys. Having a little swim here? I see you, you bushy brow mustache man. Okay, while we're looking for the last guy, I guess I can update you on what's going to be the thing with this world now. So now that we're in Minecraft 1.19, explorations up for grabs. We can explore anywhere now. Uh, I was limiting my exploration before because I knew 1.19 was gonna come out and update biomes and stuff. And I've also pruned a lot of the chunks on the map. Any of those chunks that I haven't spent much time in are just, they're just gone. They're gonna be regenerated into 1.19 chunks and that's going to be interesting for sure going to temporarily mine this bell and then maybe go down here and ah i see you're over there you big ah you've gotten yourself trapped here haven't you <laughs> okay now let's con well, let's go upwards so that we can continue this raid i suppose i don't know how much i'd actually survive this raid a villager has died oh. Oh no! Oh no, 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 oh no. Oh no! Come on, come on, come on. Where? Must be down here. Yeah! Oh no, they got to one of my villagers. Stupid. You and your axes. Get out of here. All right, guys. You're not killing any. I just said you're not killing any more villagers. Oh man, I hope it wasn't my librarian, which it very much could have been. No! I'm so stupid accidentally starting the raid. This is all my fault. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. The raid bar is like gone. The villagers are fine. What? Did they despawn? Usually raids don't just despawn like that, right? I definitely didn't win. Huh. Oh, the fishermen must have been the fishermen. I mean, the fishermen's job is outside. At least the raid stopped. Two villagers died. Fishermen. Oh, li okay. The librarian's alive. The farmer <gasps> must have been the farmer. So the fishermen and the farmer, they are, they are unfortunately dead. I think what we do is we clear some of these trees right here and we do something right here, right here and right here. Do, 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 do. And yeah, so now we just make this and there we go. Unnamed farmer lasted through episode seven through episode 10 and unnamed fisherman episode seven. Episode 10. Bucket of pufferfish? Orange drill? Beetroot seeds? Ooh. I know last episode I did start working on some kind of um like the mining thing in next to the blue house that that mining area and I still have plans for that but I feel like this episode since it is 1.19 this episode should be mainly focused on exploration and I think a way that I could do that is I might just have to travel in the nether I might have to create another like travel system that goes pretty far away and I can try to find somewhere else another biome because I have explored this world for a long time and I keep on finding just warm biomes, like just savannah biomes everywhere. But yeah, I'm hoping I can find some more normal, like cold biomes. As of now though, I'm going to place this bell right back here and hopefully not have to deal with raids ever again because I really messed up with that raid. I got villagers killed. So a good thing about this map is that I can see if there's any changes in the terrain as I like load through the land. So that's going to be interesting to go around on the map again and see if anything has changed with like new new terrain or anything i doubt that there's gonna be any mangrove biomes in my area no there's no like there's no swamp biomes or anything in the area so i don't i don't see why there would be mangrove biomes or anything like that also the bad thing about the deep 
dark is that that's going to be very hard to find because I need to explore caves that are kind of farther away from my base and I don't know exactly where. I can't tell just by looking what are the new chunks. So I don't know what areas I'm going to be able to find a new deep dark, but I think that's another reason why I should create a portal going to a far off distant land and then in that land will be completely new chunks, completely 1.19 chunks. Now I should have yeah, my diamond pickaxe right here. Let's see. So the obsidian should be somewhere down here. It's like down this cave, I'm pretty sure. Again, no areas that I've spent over five minutes in has gotten reloaded. Okay, but things are lagging, so I don't know if that means chunks are being reloaded. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of this cave I haven't spent like five minutes in because I haven't kept on going that direction which means that theoretically over in this direction could be more land that i haven't explored all that area that i haven't placed torches in that could be a free chance to find a deep dark so just a little bit of a run through here real quick some diamonds here yep the light is being a bit weird i guess that's because i updated the world to a newer version so it's like being a little bit weird but i have a feeling <gasps> aha the light the light glitch this part was glitchy here i think maybe that's new chunks that's new 1.19 chunks so that confirms that from here on out we might be in 1.19 chunks no way no way no way is that a deep dark right over there <laughs> well that was easy oh it's a good thing i never explored this cave oh man that's so great i have an easy access to the deep dark right in my basement <laughs> look there's some skunk right here okay can you mine it with a a shear yeah no you need soap touch <laughs> we have a deep Dark. If there was an ancient city around here, I would be the luckiest Minecrafter who ever Minecrafted. Whoa, so much skulk. Brightness is all the way up and it's so dark. So deep and dark. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Snake 100! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, they put a Skyrim reference in Minecraft. Oh no, you need soap touch? No! Really? No. Do you really need soap touch? That's not me adding this. That's not me adding the music in post. That's just Minecraft playing the music. It started playing this music right when the skull streaker activated. Okay, I'm gonna try to mine this without. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. I'm running! Warden draws close. I wanna spawn him. I'm so tempted. I am mining skull because you. Now I go. Now I run. Warden emerges. I don't know where. Oh, right there. <laughs> this is the first warden in Awesometopia. Welcome to Awesometopia, warden. Why am I going closer? I think he knows it's me. Oh. Oh, run. Oh. Oh. I got hit with the sonic. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, there's a mob spawner. Oh no, mob spawner. Dang it. This music is cool. Warden sniffs. Okay, the warden's still around here. I have to be careful. <gasps> Name tag. Put that in here. Saddle, saddle, saddle. Uh, music disc is good, good, good. Okay, I think the good thing is that the warden is trapped where he is. So I don't think the warden can get to me. There's also so many glow squids just like kind of dying here. The warden's down there. He fell down the water stream and I'm not planning on letting him out anytime soon. Oh boy. Oh, oh no, 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 not worth it, not worth it. I'm out. You're pretty tough. See ya. <laughs> I am out of there. Woo. All right, I forgot I came down here to uh, mine obsidian. So deep dark check. Now we need ancient city and we need to find mangrove swamp. Uh, I also still need to find all the mountain biomes from 1.18. A lot to do, a lot to do, a lot to discover in this world. And now that 1.19 is out, there's a lot to explore. But for now, I'm gonna have to spend a million years mining this obsidian. 
Okay, that is 10. That's all I need for a portal, and I'm gonna head home. Something else I have to keep in mind, I guess, is I need Silk Touch, which sucks. I didn't realize I needed Silk Touch for Skulk Sensors or anything. I thought Skulk Sensors were fine. I thought you could break Skulk Sensors with your fists, but apparently not. I don't know. This would go in here, right? Mellow High. I mean, I don't have a jukebox, but I could, I could easily make one if I really want to. Why not, I guess? And you know what? Here we go. I gotta use a diamond to make a jukebox, which definitely a very expensive trade for a jukebox. And I guess instead of this being here, I'll go ahead and place this here. And now we have Mellow High, but uh, yeah, I'll actually, I will wait and I will actually play it at the end of the episode. Cause having this jukebox here and having music discs, it gave me an idea for the end of the episode. But I think it might be a good idea for this episode to see if I can go back over there and explore the deep dark some more, because I want to explore the deep dark and I would like to find an ancient city. Though after my encounter with the warden, I'm feeling a little different. Whoa, look at my skin. I have a skulk looking robe, a mangrove looking shirt, and some muddy looking pants. So yeah, this is my new skin for 1.19. I think it looks pretty good. I like how with the caves and cliffs, I themed my new skin based around the caves and cliffs and I had like the moss and the copper little gauntlets and stuff. So this update, I once again have made another themed skin, but the robe is also based off of the robes from Minecraft Dungeons as well, which I thought was pretty cool. But for now, let's go down this direction once more and see what else we can find with the deep dark and anything new. Down here is where the warden was, so I don't know if that means... Oh, the warden is still there! Okay, that warden did not despawn. It's still just there, kind of waiting for me. Okay, so I've got to be very careful. Um, it's weird. I hear the heart beating in the subtitles, but I don't hear the heart beating in the actual game. I'm gonna try not to trigger the warden anymore. Spawning him was definitely a mistake. I shouldn't have done that but hey i mean i guess it makes this uh exploration a little bit more interesting warden's heart is beating i don't know if it's because of me i'm sorry warden i'd prefer if your heart wasn't beating for me i don't feel that way about you oh chain mail that's a nice collector's item oh <gasps> hear the warden he's over there a quick google search Ancient cities spawn at specifically negative Y52. So that means I actually have to go down here where the warden is. I cannot see. Okay. No, this doesn't lead anywhere. Wow. The deep dark brings a whole new feeling to caves that like is so weird. It's so weird to have to like think about the warden and making sound while I'm in a cave. Also, I cannot see a single thing. Uh oh. Oh, I've managed to swim up even <laughs> while being blind while being blind. And I think the best idea for me would probably be to break this shrieker. Because, okay, I need to go deeper down so I can find, you know, the real deep dark, you know, the ancient cities, the big stuff. Oh, oh, okay. That's some deep and dark right there. <laughs> All right. I need to be careful with skull triggers. I should definitely, oh, I broke my shield. I should make sure. Okay. <gasps> if the skeleton could kill that creeper. Well, that didn't really work out, did it? Okay, shield. Oh. So, there is a skull catalyst there. I'm not seeing any skulk shriekers, which means should be fine for me to go down. Once I get silk touch, it would be a good idea to, for me to nab one of these skulk catalysts because with skulk catalysts, I can create all the other skulk blocks, you know, Skulk, and then Skulk Sensors, even Skulk Shriekers. I wouldn't really need Skulk Shriekers all that much. And even then, the Skulk Shriekers that the Skulk Catalyst spawns, you know, the unnatural spawning ones, they don't spawn the water or anything. Okay. 
Very deep, very dark. Oh, you gotta admit, deep dark really adds something new that caves are missing. Oh, there's multiple. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a coward, but I'm breaking all of these skull shriekers. That's horrible. All the skulk everywhere makes it so much harder to see. <laughs> if I want to find an ancient city, there's not much else I can do. Let's see, negative 36. I still got a ways to go. What would have been really smart of me would, it would be to make a night vision potion so I don't have to place all these torches. Complete lack of mobs actually really adds to the atmosphere of this biome because it just feels so empty. You just feel so alone, but you know you're not alone. Oh, mob spawner. A mob spawner in the deep dark, huh? Hold on. More torches. Whoa, complete deep dark mob spawner. Name tag. That's awesome. Another music disc! Ooh, the anxiety. I'm like so stressed right now. <laughs> and I need to go deeper. I'm almost out of torches too. Stop that. Of course it spawned right behind me. I'm gonna die. gonna die. That's it, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> no, my music just... I have to go back. I have to get my stuff. The warden is really good in the big old open areas that is the ancient city. But in a narrow corridor like that, I have no chance. I, I should have been better prepared. My That's my fault. My lesson that I've learned today is that I need night vision potions. And also that I don't know, like... Where I died. I went on exploring. 
and I got trapped somewhere. Oh, <gasps> the wait, really? This wasn't. It was just a small corridor right here, but the darkness made it so that I couldn't see where I was at all. Why am I still exploring the deep dark? Am I an idiot? That's it. I, I like. I'm done. I'm just gonna mine. I'm not exploring this cave. I'm going to mine and hopefully find one. My goal is just to find one. Not to like actually explore through a whole ancient city right now. I just want to find one so I had know where it is. Ten seconds later. Never mind. I give up. I'm going home. <laughs> that would take me a million years to find an ancient city. I think I just have to deal with the fact that ancient cities are more rare than I would like. I'm gonna find my way out of here. Maybe I'm just not far enough in the game, but no matter if I'm wearing netherite armor or if I'm wearing like leather armor, the warden's still gonna kill me. Where did I come from? Not this way, uh, not this direction. I kind of underestimated the warden. I underestimated how long he would take to recharge his sonic boom. But you know what? That's exactly what Mojang wanted. They wanted it so that you couldn't cheese the warden and just run away from him like so easily. So good job. Mojang, you did a good job at making the warden a formidable foe. You guys are gonna shut up. You're gonna shut up. You're not sensing anything anymore. No, stop. Oh, there's so much, so much skulk. Get me out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Mm -mm. I hear that heartbeat. Oh. Oh. oh, it's nearby. Oh, it was nearby. Oh, it still is. Just run. Oh, oh my. I'm out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Run, 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 run. It's just chasing me. Mm -mm. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, 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 goodbye. <gasps> wow, look at that guy. No! How did he get up there? How did he get here? He's looking straight at me. Mm -mm. I'm booking it, booking it, booking it, booking it, booking it, booking it, book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Book it! <laughs> Zombie, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, he's not on me anymore. He's sniffing. <laughs> he fell. Ah, it's not a. Mm -mm. He can't get up here, can he? Mm -mm. Where did Warden go? Where did Warden go? There he is. I don't know why. Why am I messing with the Warden right now? Why? Why am I doing this? I can just go home safely. Look at him. Oh, his animations are so smooth. It's so weird. <gasps> he can't get up here now. Oh, that bat. That bat is about to get it. <laughs> oh, that bat is about to get Sonic boomed. Oh, we're not just straight up punched. <laughs> yeah, I can smell you too, buddy. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Warden, you seem, you seem sad, Warden. You're like me, making lots of noise. What you gonna do? Nothing. Now I'm gonna run away. Now I'm gonna run away. <laughs> now I'm gonna run away. Ah! Just for funsies. Jeez. Yeah, my stomach sounds like that too when I'm hungry. 
The problem is, is that it would probably take a million arrows to kill him, and I only have 40. I'm gonna use all 40 arrows on this dude, because you know what, why not? The warden has caused me so much pain, I might as well cause the warden some pain as well. You still here, warden? <laughs> That was it. That was all 40 of my arrows. Oh, I deserve that. <laughs> all right, Warden, I give you that one. And know what else I give you? Oh, you're about to face your worst nightmare, Warden. Have fun with all these chickens. Got a good couple hits in. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna kill it. I'm dedicated now. <laughs> I basically just have to wait until it starts saying like wooden sniffs again. So like he's back into like sniffing mode. Oh. Okay. So you guys are none the wiser, but I just came back from like working out at the gym for an hour. So that's cool. And now we're back with Minecraft to finish off this wooden. Oh boy, my stuff is everywhere. <laughs> no way, wait, wait. Did I get a, did I get a, did I get a, did I get a, yes, warden's head! <laughs> And a skulk catalyst, which I can use if I want to make my own skulk biome. I have slain a warden. Of course, I I mean, I kind of cheesed it, but I have slain a warden. This is my proudest accomplishment. I, I got to put this somewhere special. I got to do something with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this warden head. I really have to build something, like something to celebrate this prize, like accomplishment. Also, let me turn these it boxes off but with that i guess that is going to be the end of this video if you like this video and if you like my adventures in the deep dark and my slaying cheesing the warden really but i dwindled his health down i beat him and if you like that then remember to like comment and subscribe hit that bell so you know when i upload a new video and make sure to check out my other channels i have recently rebranded the awesome memes channel which is for memes song mashups are now going to go on the awesome music and then of course there's robot nelson if you want to see replays of my friends and i playing super smash brothers ultimate links for everything will be in the description below and i will see you later awesomeites goodbye